Common placement methods, other than chute placement and pumping, require barrowing the concrete into position or manual shoveling, usually in successive placements. Barrowing concrete over reinforcement is often necessary. Displacement of the reinforcement should be prevented by providing running boards supported above the reinforcement on blocks. It is important not to overhandle the concrete as this can lead to segregation of materials and result in poor finishes. To minimise the risk of segregation, concrete should be placed vertically and as near as possible to its final position. When it must be moved, it should be shoveled into position and not be left to flow into position. Other techniques for avoiding segregation during placement depend on the type of element being constructed and on the type of distribution equipment being used. For flat work and slabs incorporating ribs and beams, shallow forms, the technique shown here should be adopted. For walls and columns, deep narrow forms, problems occur when the concrete is dropped from too great a height and ricochets off the reinforcement and form faces, resulting in segregation. The means of avoiding this vary with the type of distribution equipment being used. The use of a tremie could prove the most practical solution. However, the size of the element and the spacing of the reinforcement must be able to accommodate the chute or tremie. If either the final surface or the soffit is sloping, commence placing at the lowest point. Placing commence from the highest point makes it more difficult to achieve correct levels and can lead to segregation as the concrete tends to settle down the slope. If placing on a sloping surface, always use a baffle. The velocity from a free end chute with a chute tends to carry the concrete down and drop at the end of the chute slope, separating the aggregate, which goes to the bottom of the slope. Regardless of the distribution method, always deposit concrete into the face of that already placed. Depositing concrete away from the face of that already placed can cause poor intermixing and segregation. Use a drop chute if concrete has to fall more than 2 metres. Allowing concrete to free fall more than 2 metres can displace reinforcement, damaging formwork and cause concrete to segregate. When placing from chutes and barrows, discharge concrete into a hopper, leading to a light, flexible drop chute. When placing with crane and bucket, use a flexible drop chute connected to a collector cone, which is permanently attached to the bucket frame. When placing with a concrete pump, extend the hose to the bottom of the form and withdraw as the form is filled. Long, uncontrolled drops cause segregation as the concrete strikes against the forms and aggregates ricochet off reinforcement. Mortar is also left on the form faces and reinforcement. In deep sections such as walls, footings and large columns, concrete should be placed in 300mm layers to improve compaction. Immersion, poker vibrators should extend about 150mm into the previous layer of fresh concrete to meld the two layers together and avoid cold pore lines on the finished surface. Depending on the compaction equipment, thicker layers may be possible. Layers that are too deep make it virtually impossible to adequately compact the concrete, leaving in trapped air which will result in voids and blowholes at the surface of the concrete and prevent it achieving its potential, durability and strength.